Another leak about the upcoming Indigo Disc DLC Part 2 for Scarlet and Violet. It's nothing major, but it's definitely something pretty cool. So, Riddler Q posted on Twitter or X, whatever you guys want to call it, a picture of two Generation 8 Legendary Pokemon, Enamorous and I believe his name is Spectrier or Spectrier. I don't really know exactly how to pronounce it, but it's a horse. It looks like we're going to be able to shiny hunt these Pokemon that were previously shiny locked and the caption says, are you ready? Which that are you, everyone on the internet thinks that that's like an abbreviation for whatever the shiny hunting method is, for example, like Dynamax Adventures. So the RU could stand for raid something. I don't, I'm not gonna try to come up with it, but a lot of people think it's like raid something that starts with a U. I, I have no idea. It could be nothing, could mean nothing, but I think that's pretty cool. There's always just some type of gimmick behind like the shiny hunting method when it comes to like all these legendary Pokemon. I'm pretty hyped for that, honestly. There's also a tweet from Centro Leaks, which he basically states that Calyrex or Calyrex, however you want to say it, can also be caught in shiny forms. And there's also going to be more legendary Pokemon returning to the Indigo Disc, which is pretty cool. I'm really curious to see all the legendary Pokemon. I'm really looking forward to the Indigo Disc because the Indigo Disc seems a lot more interesting to me. I don't know why. I feel like they saved the better part of the story for the second part, which makes sense, obviously, because part one was fun and everything, but... I definitely felt like it was a little bit short. So I hope that part two is gonna be a little bit longer. And then somebody commented and asked what about the legendary horses and the Cobb Fu line. And Central Leagues responded and said, those are the only non-gen nine legendaries that remain shiny locked. So it looks like we're still gonna get some shiny locked legendaries, which is fine, but I don't really know. Shiny locking is weird. I feel like there shouldn't be shiny locking in any games. It kind of makes no sense, but at the same time, I guess it kind of makes sense a little bit because it brings players back to the game. So like thinking of it from, you know, a business perspective from Pokemon, Game Freak, whatever, they probably want returning players to come back for a shiny Pokemon that has never been available before. So it kind of makes sense. But, you know, as a player, as a consumer, whatever, it kind of sucks that we have to wait sometimes to actually shiny hunt specific Pokemon. Um, I'm looking through the comments here or the replies. A lot of people are asking questions, a lot of things have been unanswered. I think the only thing that Central Leaks has actually answered or replied to is that one about nine, uh, Gen 9 Legendaries that remain shiny locked or whatever. So I guess we'll see what we, what we get. Take everything with a grain of salt though, these are all leaks, nothing is completely confirmed until of course we actually get the DLC. And before the video ends guys, I'm doing a giveaway when I hit 10,000 subscribers, which we're actually approaching really quickly. We're almost there, about like 330 subscribers away. But when I hit 10,000 subs, I'm doing a giveaway for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card that you could use on your Switch. You could buy a game, you could buy in-game stuff if you want. Definitely we'll do some bigger giveaways in the future. But yeah, all you have to do to enter that giveaway is like the video, subscribe, of course, and then leave a comment down below letting me know that you want to be in the giveaway. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.